I would go to anywhere in Spain so I can try and speak Spanish. I would teleport. Home because I'm tired. Or South America. <laughs> to my own universe because it's all peace and quiet. It's me. Just me. <laughs> if I could be teleported anywhere. Uh, I would. Maybe a million, two million years into the future when uh, the Milky Way galaxy crashes with the Andromeda galaxy in the place where I can watch it. Aside from in there. Oh, not million, sorry. 100,000. If I can be teleported anywhere in the universe, I would be teleported to Saturn because no one has ever been there before and it'd be a great experience to experience a different world. Um, I would teleport to Europe, the multiverse, yeah, I'd like teleport out of this universe and into the big endless realm where everything collides with all of existence. Only because I want to see what it looks like and I want to meet the people. Stars colliding into each other and galaxies eating each other would be chaotic and beautiful. If I could be teleported anywhere in the world, I would want to go to Jupiter and be the first person in the whole wide world to go there. If it was empty, I'd go to the centre of the world just so I could like kind of jump around on the inside, like the inside of a pool. You know how the gravity would be cool. It'd be an interesting sight to see. If I could be teleported anywhere in the universe, I'd probably be teleported back in time to South America. Um, to where the Mayans were living. Um, I would be teleported to... The scene in Where the Wild Things Are, where they're like, where Max is in the boat on the ocean and the sun's really nice, and then where it's like that at night and the stars are really pretty. And maybe like New York or a big city where you can see all the lights. And perhaps save them from the Spanish Inquisition so that we could have this amazing civilization continue on. If I could teleport anywhere in the world, I'd be teleported to the most remote place in the Amazon rainforest, the furthest away from human contact, just to see what it was like. I'd probably go to Chris Coffer's book signing. Mars, so no one's no one's been there yet. I'd be able to say something cool like Neil Armstrong. But then hopefully I'd be able to be teleported out of it as well. That's where I'd go. Tesla because he's really awesome and I'd ask him assuming you know I'd brought him back from the dead to ask him I'd ask him what would what death was like first and yeah I'd ask him about government conspiracies and such if I could interview anyone that are alive I would interview Michael Jackson Spongebob Reese Maston Usain Bolt Kelly Simpson just any jet fighter or pilots Justin Bieber Justin Bieber Justin Bieber Justin Bieber Justin Bieber Sherlock Holmes. All them famous people. So I could ask him well, how he takes a bath underwater. And say, why does it look like you're wearing a crown? Because he's the fastest man in the world. And he's my idol. If they'd ever fly their plane really, really high up in the sky and just look up into space and imagine that they weren't moving, I will ask them about their music. Where would they get their ideas and how did they like make it so good? And I would ask, I wouldn't even really need to ask him anything. I'd interview my mum and I'd ask her what's for dinner. I would interview Osama Bin Laden. A whole group of like basketball players. Jeff Buckley. Abraham Lincoln. Probably Tupac Shakur. I guess I would ask why his hat was always so big. What's your world view? <laughs> What do you think about life? What his song Mojo Pin is about. It was it hard to get that far? Just want to know how he died. Because it's, I don't know, because I've had it stuck in my head all day. If I could interview anyone, it would be the mayor of New York and ask where the hell all the spiderweb goes. I was tossing up between Napoleon and Genghis Khan. I'm a little bit obsessed and he's amazing. From Spider-Man? I asked him, do you cry? <laughs> You know, if you, I don't know if when you lose a battle or, you know, you just lost, you know, a few thousand people because you made a mistake, you cry. The 
the best thing I've eaten is candy coated chocolate. I don't know. Or in other words, chocolate rocks. But at least there's food on my plate that I like. Like, damn, Africa, that's so nice. The best food I've ever eaten would be... Food, I'd have to say, is my answer. Lasagna. Veal tongue burritos. Tiramisu. And it actually looked like a real tongue. Broccoli. Best food I've ever ate. Cadbury's hazelnut chocolate. Man, I love that. I decided to play a little joke. Best thing I've ever eaten. Ah, uh, what's well, it's tough. It's broccoli. It's a lemon meringue. I love sushi. Pie. And put the tongue in my mouth and be like, hi guys, where am I? <laughs> and this, this chocolate chops rating. Best thing I've ever eaten. Probably my first bag bowl. I remember that. <laughs> but no one really thought it was quite as funny as I did. <laughs> Best thing I've ever eaten is spaghetti bolognese by my cousin's wife, Martha. Poached chicken in cream sauce. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. Food's probably the best thing I've ever put in my mouth, so yeah, I'll go with that. That's probably the best thing I've ever eaten. Justin Bieber.